Hello, I'm Mars1292, I'm here again today to show you my latest video, PC Blu-ray playback on a budget. The main feature we're going to be using today is LG's GGC H2OL, um, mostly available from Overclockers for £77.54, 5 star product rated by users on there. Um, it's LG, so of course it's got light scribe capabilities, Blu-ray and HD DVD playback, basic 6 speed Blu-ray read speed, 3 HD DVD read speed, 16 times DVD write, and uh, the others there, 50 gigabyte Blu-ray, 25 HD DVD. Blu-ray is really what you're going to be wanting because uh, mostly what's, what's won in the uh, high definition video war. So as you can see, that's the uh, first part. Other part you're going to be needing, uh, if you want to go Blu-ray playback, is probably a decent sound card. I use the Sound Blast X5 Platinum. It's got the uh, front I.O. panel, seen there. It also comes with this handy little remote control, which is useful. Now, it's fairly old, this card. You can get fatality editions of it now and other features to go with it. But I use this one, and we'll be seeing what that sounds like and how it enhances uh, the videos. And uh, secondly, we want to a graphics card. I use, of course, the GTX 280. I have two of them, but you can use anything from a... Uh, 8600 GT is what I'd recommend if, when you're on a budget. Uh, they come between 40 and 50 UK pounds, maybe a hundred dollars. I think it might be over there. It's double the price. And uh, now we're going to the next part. Now we we'll move on to the uh, screen. As you can see here, if I just uh, run some stuff, got a nice background there. 1920 by 1200 is my screen. Samsung SyncMaster 245B. Um, all the links to the available parts I've had and the parts I've just shown available on the right, they're all linked out there so you can see the product manufacturer's specifications. Uh, this is the screen, it's 5 millisecond response time and I think a 3000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio so it's great for movies and games um, because you saw, you'll see later the Blu-ray playback I use. Um, Logitech X530 speakers very very cheap speakers about 60 quid I think um, simple places in the UK like PC World you can get these these are just basic home speakers uh, 5.1 set here so this one fits nicely over my keyboard looks like it's attached and I've got two two behind so um, yeah next we're going to move on to what I use to play the video and what I've chosen out of uh, yeah, available video um, viewers right so uh, this is the software I've chosen I've chosen Coral Wind DVD 9 Plus Blu-ray edition Make sure you've got to get the Blu-ray edition. I chose uh, the contestants for what I chose was Coral Wind DVD 9 and um, Power DVD 8. I chose Wind DVD 9 for the better picture quality and sound quality and enhancement options. Um, plus, it's cheaper. It's uh, eighty dollars here. It's eighty dollars for you in the US, forty here. And uh, Power DVD is a hundred dollars or fifty in the UK, fifty pounds. Uh, so I chose this one. Uh, as you can see, it's a simple play, skip, stop, audio, volume, stuff like that. Um, down the bottom, uh, if you look up to here, onto the playback device, just zoom in there. I've uh, got chosen six speakers, which is basically 5.1, just the one that's added to the 5 for a 6. Um, you can choose technology, the audio effects, Pro Logic 2, DCS, stuff like that. Video effects, if you're really into making it want to sound, if you have, really, really want to make it sound. Um, basically, stay zoomed in. The enhancements, you can enhance DVDs up to HD using the Auto HD demo mode, which split it down the side. Um, you're able to see uh, the difference between the two, normal DVD and upgraded to HD. Um, and then just going up here to set up. I've got uh, hardware decode acceleration, can you zoom in on that? Um, pure, pure Video HD by NVIDIA, which is, uh, comes with all NVIDIA cards. I think from the 8 series up, they're built in and ready to go in all drivers. So that's alright there. Um, next we're going to move on to Blu-ray playback, so we're going to see what it's like. We'll get going with the movie. Just remember that the uh, this video camera does not make this really 
to the to the actual video and audio quality I do get here, um, which is pretty amazing for, for the prices I've, I've spent on the stuff here. So uh, here we go. used for this, um, well the basic parts, I'll leave the screen and the speakers to your choice. Um, graphics card, you don't have to have my graphics card of course, you can have any graphics card of your choice, 8600 GT is what I recommend on a budget basis for Blu-ray playback, but um, NVIDIA Pure Video HD, as seen there, HD video, um, I'm going to give a 8 out of 10, um, 10 out of 10 on video quality, Great video quality, really enhances it, makes it a much more smoother, more colourful enhancement experience. The interlacing is great. Um, the problem is, drivers, it doesn't always work on drivers. Sometimes there's drivers we have to have either good gaming performance, bad Blu ray, it's hard to pick one that's got both. But 177.70 beta from NVIDIA is what I use on 64 bit, and it's great for games and great for Blu ray playbacks. If, you, if you're looking at doing this now, it's the one to use. Um, so that's that out of the way. Sound, sound quality from this. Put it in game mode, you get a really punchy sound out of your speakers. You want some more crisp or clear sounds, go into entertainment mode um, on your sound card. But I'm going to give this 9 out of 10. Great, really great. It's just a few gripes with the uh, Vista capability of it, of the sound card, and how creative it's got the drivers working. It's not the best, but the sound quality can really make up for that. And gives it a not give it a nine out of ten. And finally, my Blu-ray player. For the price, the value really takes it up to a ten out of ten. I see nothing wrong with the Blu-ray playback. I find the Blu-ray playback um, better than the PlayStation 3's Blu-ray playback. And I found I find sound quality is better than the PlayStation 3's Blu-ray playback for um, HDMI cable, the sound blaster. So I'm gonna give this ten out of ten. 9 and 8 out of 10. So, remember the graphics card is only for its pure video HD, not the card itself. If you want to see the card's review, it's on uh, my earlier videos, the GTX 280 SLI review. You can view those. Um, one of my most popular videos in three parts. Also, remember to check out my forum, as you've just seen below. Um, www.miles1292.darkbbdarkbb.com um, so Sign up there, compete, benchmark schools, rig gallery, enthusiast hardware talks, everything like that, overclocking. Join it, see what it's like. Uh, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.